Hello, I'm Jerry Ford, the Beer Review Guy. I'm, uh, I'm going to do a comparison video um, between can and bottle um, of this Guinness uh, Draft Stout. Um, this was a request from Dylan Overfer, Overfors, Overfors. Um, I wrote down the original um, suggestion from him the other day. Um, and I don't know where I went and I almost couldn't remember his last name, but I found another one he requested a while back, but I can't find, couldn't find this one. So I had his name here, um, but I was able to accomplish this one because Walmart carries both of these. Um, Guinness, uh, Stout is a really good beer. I haven't had it in a while. So, uh, his, his, uh, his question was, um, he, he wants my opinion on uh, what I think between the two, uh, which one is creamier. Um, he believes that it's probably the, the, the can, the can version with the widget in it. Um, I think he said he figured I'd probably agree, but still wants to hear my opinion and my thoughts on, on the beer. So, um, so here we go. We're going to do this, uh, this, this, I mean, it, even though I, I agree, it's probably going to be the can with the widget in it, um, the nitrogen, because uh, they're designed for for to make it creamy. Uh, it says nit nitrogenated for smoothness. St. James Gate, Dublin, Ireland. Um, best enjoyed poured into a glass. Um, let's see, the bottle says uh, brewed in Dublin. Um, brewed in Ireland by Guinness and Company. They don't say the ABV on them. I'll have to put it in the description box. These two beers have been setting out for about, oh, a little over 45 minutes now. Wanted to get them to about the right temperature. No, I don't see the ABV on here. And I can't remember what they are. All right, so let's go ahead and let's do this. Um, this can is a 14.9 fluid ounce can, and the bottle is 11.2 fluid, fluid ounce. Um, <clears throat> says enjoy chilled straight from the bottle does this say enjoy chilled stouts and porters from my um, from my knowledge they're they're supposed to be um, not cold they're supposed to it's supposed to be like room temperature you know but Okay, we'll do the glass first. Mmm. Smells good. There's a nice, creamy looking khaki. No, it's more mocha um, head there. Three fingers. Yeah, that looks really nice. Very soft looking head there. Um, it looks really rich on the appearance. Oh, man, it smells good. Okay, all right, so I haven't been like very successful with with uh, the pouring and the operation of these cans. Um, let's see. Upon opening, the famous round plastic widget in every can unleashes nitrogen through the beer, creating the creamy head and iconic surge 
that's distinctively Guinness. To best enjoy, open the can and wait a, mi wait a moment for the nitrogen to release. Pour into a glass, tilted at 45 degrees. Watch the surge and settle and settle and then enjoy. Okay, so. Let's see. Let's get it over here. Open the can and wait a moment. I don't want to wait too long. I think I've had made that mistake before, wait too long. Um, open the can, wait a moment for the nitrogen to release. Pour it, and then pour it into a glass, tilt it at 45 degrees. Okay, so open it and then go for it. Okay, y'all ready? Looks like it was pretty successful. That nitrogen still nitrogen is still working in there. The head, from what I can see, looks looks nice and frothy, looks silky, smooth. It's about a little under under two fingers. The color right now, it looks like the bottle version is a little bit, just a little bit darker, the beer. The head, the top part of the head of the bottle looks a little bit more frothy in its, in its appearance. The can that's on the top, the can on the side, it looks more, more, more smooth and more frothy in there. Okay. All right, so let's see here. Oh man, just a nice, almost like a milk chocolate kind of aroma. You get that kind of a light to medium dark uh, malts, maybe a little caramel malts or something. It smells lightly sweet. You get a very, very, very light kind of a coffee just a little bit of a, a light roast. It's not very big. It smells good. Same aroma on the can, um, except for, this one smells, I don't know why, but it smells just a little bit more sweeter. Maybe the nitrogen is stirring up more of the 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 uh, aromatic profiles in the beer. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's start with the bottle version. Wow. That is that's smooth. That's pretty smooth. Um, it has a, a light sweetness to it on the on the beginning. That back end, you get a little bit of a more of a um, a little roastiness, a little bit of bitterness on on the mouth on the mouth or on the palate. I'd say um, 
it's very, very smooth um, and, and soft mouthfeel um, of the beer. Um, just a very light. Yeah, I mean, there's hardly any carbonation at all, which makes it more, more of a smooth, you know, drink. Okay, well, let's see this. Uh, let's see this can version, the widget. Oh wow, yeah, um, very creamy. Um, uh, of course, this one was creamy too, like I described it. Um, this one here is like. Wow, it's just, uh, yeah, very smooth. Um, just extra creamy texture to that to that body. Um, uh, same same flavor profiles as I said on this one. You get a little bit of that, a little sweetness up front. You get that dark malts, the little. Um, little roasty bitterness on the back end. Um, there's no, hardly, there's no carbonation um, in there at all. Um, <clears throat> which, like I said, makes it a very smooth. Um, yeah, the head is just, the head is still sticking around on this can version. This one's dissipating out a little bit quicker. The bottle version of the head is a little bit darker. This has more of a very light off-white off little mocha color on the can version. Um, Very creamy. This can version with the widget. Um, it's it's like what what Dylan and I both thought it was going to be, and you all probably guessed the same thing. But it's interesting, um, <clears throat> just that this one was just a little bit more on the aroma that what that widget did. Taste wise. They're both about the same. Um, just the uh, um, this the smoothness though of, of the drink of this one, and then taking a drink of this one, you can just definitely tell the difference. Very good, very good. Okay, um, I don't really have any more to say about it. Um, It was fun, fun and interesting to do. I was surprised that Walmart had both of them available. Um, <clears throat> every so often that it happens, but um, okay. Well, I'm going to end it there. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. Thank you, Dylan, for the for the suggestion. I was glad I was able to accomplish it. It's a little difficult right now to accomplish suggestions. Um, but there you go. We did one. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to end it there. I thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. And... Uh, We'll see you all on the next one. Have a good evening, whatever day it is that you see this, and a good weekend, and we'll see you on the next one.